Good day. I'm Kevin from Shakila Training Center in Durban, South Africa. Uh, we offer gas handling courses, which is um, a requirement set by our government and law. We are registered with SACWA Gas to provide certificates for gas handling. Yeah, we have some of the equipment that we use for recovering refrigerant from an air conditioning or refrigeration system, uh, which is a, a cylinder, which is an approved cylinder that we put our refrigerant into, uh, scale to weigh the uh, refrigerant to ensure that we do not overfill the cylinder. The cylinder can only be filled up to 70%. There, are, there is information on the cylinder as to how much liquid the cylinder can take. We have a recovery unit that we use to remove the refrigerant from our system and transfer it from the system through the recovery unit and into the cylinder. Um, it is very important that we adhere to the safety and when we are doing any recovery, we have to make sure that we use the safety PPE, which is safety glasses and safety gloves. We also have our gauges and our manifold that we use to connect to our system and to the recovery unit. I will do a demonstration on how to connect everything, starting with our compressor. So I will connect up the compressor first of all. I need to remove these valves <coughs> and caps. Removing the caps from the service valves and connecting our hoses. This is the low side of the system and then I will connect the, the other gauge hose to the high side of the system, which is this connection. Remove the cap for them from the service valve. And we can connect our gauge to that connection on the high side. Then we need to open these valves. Just get the correct one. It is very important that we purge the hoses to remo remove any non condensables. And we can see now we have pressure on our gauges. And uh, now opened up on the high side, I will now need to open up on the, on the low side of the system. Okay, and then once I've done that, I'll put these caps back. Okay. 
And then from, now that the system is connected, now we'll connect up to our recovery unit. Okay, now we're connecting up to our filter dryer on our recovery unit. It's important that we have a filter dryer connected to our recovery unit to prevent any non-condensables and dirt going into the recovery unit. And now, <clears throat> I will now connect up from the recovery unit to our gas cylinder. From the outlet of our recovery unit, we go into the cylinder. Once they've connected up, we can open the valves on the cylinder and we could purge the lines to ensure that there are no condensables in the, in the lines. And we have, con we have purged these, so everything is in order. We can now proceed to recover all the refrigerant from the system. It'll be sucked into the recovery unit where the recovery unit just condenses the vapor to a liquid and the liquid is then transferred into the recovery cylinder. At all times we must monitor the weight of the cylinder to ensure that we do not overfill the cylinder. <clears throat>